Hey guys, Tom itself here with a, what is this, Battlefield 3? Yeah, I know it's been a while, but I had something I wanted to talk about, and that is double ticket rush servers, or really just rush servers that don't have the normal default 100% ticket count. And it seems like mostly you just run into double ticket servers. Now, I try to avoid them, but every once in a while I find myself in one, and well, this, this game came from one of those, and you see the ticket count is 150 instead of the usual 75. I want to talk about, uh, well... I want to reason through why someone might want to play on a double ticket server and what the differences are and why in the end I would rather not play on them. For those of you who haven't had the pleasure of some Battlefield 3 Rush, let me explain the game type very briefly. It's the most similar to Call of Duty's demolition game type. You get offense and defense and the offense needs to plant two bombs and have them detonate. Now in Battlefield you have tickets instead of a timer which is most similar to lives. The offensive team wins, the defenders get pushed back to the next base. Where you do the whole thing again. And maps will have anywhere from three to five bases. Dam of Van Peak most recently became a five base rush map. They, they added another one more than a year after the game came out and you'll get to see it here. The attackers normally have 75 tickets to work with. On some maps it's 100, but normally 75. And in our typical console games of 12v12, that'll work out to uh, 6 deaths per attacker, or conversely, 6 kills per defender before the defense is held out. And in my experience, that will take you know, roughly 10 minutes, maybe 12. So you double that, and a round on a single base could take 20 minutes fairly easily if the defense is going to be successful. And on this first base, we almost hold. We get them down from 150 down to 20 tickets, and it takes us about 20 minutes to do so. At DICE is pretty proud of their destruction system in the Frostbite 2 engine that Battlefield 3 uses, and you'll see that after 20 minutes on this one base, well, the map is pretty much in ruins, and there's not a whole lot of cover left. Uh, we'll get back to that later, but just, especially on this first one, there is nothing left of this base by the time we get pushed back. Alright, let's talk about some reasons why people would want to play on a high-ticket Rush server. The first, most obvious and easiest reason I can come up with is that Rush is an inherently imbalanced game mode. The defenders only have to hold out on one MCOM of one base in order to win, and the attackers have to successfully detonate anywhere from 6 to 10 MCOMs to win, depending on the map. Now, so you say, okay, what if uh, we wanted to have the attackers and defenders win uh, an equal, you know, 50-50 in the end? Well, each base, the attackers, well, let's say you had four, the attackers would have to win something like 85% of the time on each base because they have to successfully win four times. And the defense only has to win once, and so giving the attackers more tickets yeah, does tip things in their favor. And we got pushed back there. Another reason that you could have a variety of sources is that the attackers don't want to take things very seriously at the start. They want to go sit back and snipe from really long distances, and then once they get down to, you know, maybe 50 tickets left, then they'll go ahead and try and push up and actually take the bases. They just want to, you know, sit there and try and snipe. Uh, what can I say? Uh, you could also have a similar situation where, because the game just kind of throws everyone in at the start, uh, the first base is often, well, it can be a mess, and whoever gets set up first usually has the advantage there. There is no countdown. I took that out, so, I don't know, it's kind of a mess. I don't see how having more tickets deals with that problem, but it does give the attackers more leeway and just kind of sit back for a while before they finally have to push forward. My third reason, well, let me just put it this way, I would like to see as much of the map as possible. And so making things easier for the attackers, well, you get to see more of the map. Now that's the problem with defense, if you successfully hold out on the first base every time, well, you don't get to play defense on much of the map. That's uh, not the greatest reason, but it does, it does mean that you get to use more of the map and have some different experiences. And my final reason is, well, it's kind of a lazy thing, but it's what DICE has given players, and that is that if you want to play on a mixed server with Conquest, TDM, and Rush, or any other game types, and you want double tickets for Conquest and Team Deathmatch, then you're going to be playing double ticket Rush too, there's nothing you can do about it. So, I, I guess it's people say, hey, we'd like to play Rush, and we don't care if we end up with double ticket Rush, because we'd rather have double ticket Conquest or TDM in there too, or even 300, 400... God, whatever crazy ticket count they use. I think just about every other game mode besides Rush handles high ticket count fairly well. It's not really an issue. Yeah, you get a longer game, but hey, uh, it doesn't really imbalance things off of what you've got with whole offense-defense thing in Rush. 
Okay, let me talk about why I don't like playing on high ticket rush servers. The first one I pointed out on the first base, and that is the destruction. Buildings get destroyed, and then they stay destroyed, and there really isn't a whole lot of cover, and the map becomes fairly uninteresting for the most part. And it really doesn't take a concerted effort on the part of the attackers, because, uh, you know, you just get a couple guys throwing C4, rockets, uh, mortars, I think that was what was most going on, lots of mortars on that first base, and eventually their defenders really won't have much cover to work with, and uh, it, just, it doesn't seem terribly interesting, unless you're going to make a very concerted effort to say bring down that building and then we'll be able to do this now they just level everything and it, it turns into a parking lot and I don't find that very interesting but the big problem with plenty of reasons is that high ticket rush servers tend to be you know, kind of boring let's face it one of the reasons I gave that you might want a high ticket rush server was so that the attackers could sit back for a while and as a defenders that's not fun you know you just have attackers trying to pick you off get easy kills or uh, you know, if you're on the attacking team and your teammates aren't pushing up, that's not fun. It feels like you're just fighting that with a bunch of people on your team not doing anything. And uh, so, I think a lot of cases, the game just gets really slow and boring. Now, if you're on the defensive side, yeah, you have to sit there and wait for the attackers. But if the defenders get the advantage and push forward, get the attackers stuck in their spawn, well, then you're going for a long wait as you, the defenders try to bleed the attackers' tickets. It's just, like I said... 20 minutes, not surprising in a, for a defensive win, defensive stop in a 200% round of rush. And finally, the problem I see with the high ticket counts is that it's not so much about strategy and tactics, it's more about just endurance and making sure you stay in the game the entire time and hoping that your teammates stick around too. It just comes down to a numbers game a lot of times, you know, if four of your teammates leave and the other team uh, still has people around, yeah, you're going to have a harder time of it. Now, you know, these hour-long games aren't really so much epic as they're just long, and, well, I turned a 56-minute game into an 8-minute commentary because that was how much of footage that I really liked out of this hour-long game, and I did fairly well. Uh, Puppy and I were, were having a blast. We pulled a squad with just a squad of two people, and yet, no, we weren't able to pull it out, and in the end, our team just felt tired and worn out, and the attackers got the last base, I don't think they lost more than 20 tickets. And so it just came down to endurance more than the ability to play. Just really, really long game. Anyway, first Battlefield 3 video in a while. I haven't played a whole lot. Uh, stopped doing commentaries because I uh, didn't have anything terribly interesting to say, but, well, double ticket rush servers. I, I don't know. I've seen more and more of them. I figured I'd say something. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.